Hello my name is James, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Grace and Ben cast aside their differences to focus on one goal. Saving Cal, Vanishing Point, picks up where the previous episode left off with Cal's disappearance. With the Major hot on the heels of the Stone family, Manifest makes it a top priority to find him before the government does. Despite Ben's request, Grace has the house crawling with cops by the time he arrives. We can't blame her for contacting them, since Manifest has made it clear she doesn't believe in the Collins. However, Ben's unusual behavior makes him an immediate suspect. Olive quickly calls Michaela, hopeful she'll be able to vouch for his behavior. The call comes just in time since Michaela just finished up arresting Autumn. Manifest deals with her treachery right away rather than dragging it out for the rest of the season. Why the government would assume Michaela wouldn't sniff out a mole right away is beyond us. She's a detective after all, and she's adamant she'll get answers out of Autumn before it's too late. At the Stone residence, Michaela, Ben, and Grace put their heads together to try and figure out where Cal is. Now that Grace is on board with the callings, there's no time to waste. Ben realizes all of Cal's drawings create a map of where he could have gone. Grace recognizes one of the drawings as a building up in the Catskills. Michaela calls Jared to pretend like he's found Cal so he can get the police to vacate the house. Luckily, it works so Ben and Grace take off, in Danny's truck, to go find their son. In upstate New York, the two don't have much luck showing Cal's photo around. When they take a break, it just ends up in a fight with Grace upset that Ben didn't fight for the marriage. Manifest has to realize this isn't a discussion which is going to win over fans who haven't been Team Grace throughout this season. Nonetheless, they're interrupted when the Major's men show up looking for Cal throughout the city. How did the Major know about Cal's disappearance? When the police were called, the government organization was updated about the situation. They also got alerted when Michaela arrested Autumn. With the clock ticking, she tries to make the most of what little time she has to interrogate her. Manifest reveals Autumn might be a double agent but it's only because the Major is using her daughter as leverage. Michaela tries to get through to Autumn because she knows that she has the missing drawing. Autumn is too afraid to give up any information because the Major can hear everything. She also admits that she told the Major about Cal but never handed over the drawing. Michaela knows she's more trustworthy than the Major and ultimately Autumn chooses to make the right call. Ben and Grace are getting followed by the Major's men upstate but are shocked to find the cars suddenly turn around. Autumn had called and fed the group false information to send them off of Ben's trail. To atone for her betrayal, she also hands over the drawing to Michaela. She had stolen it because it was a picture of her and her daughter. We half expected Michaela to give it back as a memento but on the back is Cal's location. At the very least it seems to promise Autumn will eventually get the reunion she's desperate for. Olive is stuck at home for the entirety of the episode but she does find a note from Cal which reads, I left. With this new information and Michaela's retrieval of the drawing, the couple finally figures out where their son is. Naturally, they refuse to wait for Michaela to arrive and go flying into the abandoned cabin. Cal is waiting and he's prepared with a lot of supplies. As he's explaining the latest calling, a man comes hurtling inside but promptly passes out. Who's this newcomer? It's the man who Michaela has been connected to over the past couple of episodes. She ditches Jared to head up to the cabin alone where Ben has been keeping this hypothermic guy alive. When he finally comes to, we discover he's been looking for Michaela. The man, Zeke, Matt Long, had been hiking but got caught in a cave after a blizzard. He had a magazine article about Michaela and the thought of her somehow managed to keep him alive. His arrival also blows up the mythology already established on Manifest. According to Zeke, he had only been hiking for about two weeks. However, that was about one year ago. Flight 828 isn't the only time-traveling incident. Does that mean Fiona and Captain Daly could have made it to the future? It looks like Michaela and Ben are going to have more to find out throughout the rest of the season. When Matt Long was added to the cast for this season, Deadline reported he would initiate a surprising love triangle and throw a wrench in the current mythos. Based on his interactions with Michaela and the fact that her image powered him through, we're guessing the love triangle will be between her, Zeke, and Jared. 
Speaking of love triangles, the show really needs to decide about what to do with Ben, Grace, and Danny. Now that Grace has officially been looped in, we're hoping Manifest will be able to give her some better storylines. Athena Karkanis is a great actress and she deserves better than some of the material she's gotten this season. On an exciting note, Manifest finally introduced us to the mysterious Major. It looks like Elizabeth Marvel, Homeland, House of Cards, and Person of Interest, will be taking on the role of the main antagonist. The Major is officially moving to New York City and seems pretty confident she'll get Autumn Stone and Cal pretty quickly. What are her plans with the rest of the passengers? Now that we know Flight 828 isn't an isolated incident, perhaps her plans are much broader than originally anticipated. What did you think of Vanishing Point? Be sure to tell us in the comments below.